What if everything you know is wrong? And the reason I say that is because science keeps telling us that. Science keeps telling us that the way we see the world is not right. There's another way to look at it when you put on scientific eyes. And you can do this yourself. Go outside and look at the Earth. And what does it look like? What do you see if you just go and look at the Earth? Well, you see something that looks kind of, kind of flat. I mean, the, you know, this floor is flat. The street outside is pretty flat. Walk around, the Earth looks kind of flat. Sure, you might see a mountain. But on the other side, there will be a valley. If you push the mountains down, the valleys come out, it's flat. If you take a walk in any direction and just keep on going, you will come to an ocean. Go east, you get to the Atlantic. Go west, you get to the Pacific. Go north, you get to the Arctic. Go south, you get to the Antarctic. So it looks like we live on an island surrounded by an ocean. And when you stand on the seashore and you look out over the ocean, what do you see? You see a sharp line on the horizon. It looks like an edge you could fall over. And if we don't have boats, you can't get to that edge. It's too far to swim. And the sky, what's it look like? It looks like a blue dome over our head with the sun stuck on it. And this blue dome is black on the other side and it rotates around. And when the black side comes around, it's got stars and the moon stuck on it. And it rotates around us this way. That's what the world looks like to our eyes. That is wrong. But a thousand years ago, that was a perfectly valid model of the universe. And it took a lot of science, a lot of mathematics, a lot of engineering, and a lot of technology to figure out that we live on a ball. We live on a ball. It doesn't look like a ball. And it doesn't seem to move. This ball that we live on moves a lot. So there are stars under your feet right now. There is empty space under your feet. Go 12,000 kilometers down, you come to empty space. A lot of it. Just as much as there is in that direction. We live, and by the way, uh, you live uh, here. There's Toronto on our world. We're not at the top, we're not in the middle, we're not on the bottom, we're sort of three quarters of the way up. And this thing moves. By the way, uh, this globe that I have, uh, it doesn't have any political markings on it. And it's based on satellite photos, which is why I like it. When I was born, and I'm not that old, when I was a kid, we didn't know this. We did not know what the Earth looked like because we didn't have satellites to take pictures. The space age hadn't even happened yet. And again, I'm not that old. I dye my hair gray. Okay, <laughs> okay so this thing moves. First of all, we had to figure out it was a ball. We had to develop ships. Then we had to develop the compass. Then we had to develop clocks so that we could navigate out of sight of land. Then we had to develop airplanes to fly around it and finally rockets to get off the thing and have a look at it from, from a distance. That took a lot. And we found out that this thing did. So here's one thing the Earth does. It turns like this, right? Every day, think about this. Since yesterday, you have been all the way around the world because the Earth took you with it as it turned. That's a big trip. That's a long way to go. And in fact, uh, Toronto, in order to get all the way around the world, has to travel quite quickly. We are moving about 800 kilometers an hour. That's about the speed of a jet airliner. And the Earth turns counterclockwise, so we're going towards the east, which is that way. So right now, you are moving 800 kilometers an hour around the center of the Earth in that direction. So if the Earth was to suddenly stop turning, all of us would hit that wall at 800 kilometers an hour. <laughs> Not only that, uh, if you go to the equator, you're traveling faster because you have a bigger circle. You have farther to go <clears throat> than you do when you're up near the pole. If you stand on the equator, you're doing 1,600 kilometers an hour. That's supersonic. That's an F-18 jet. So you're traveling as fast as a fighter jet just by standing on a beach in Brazil. Standing on a beach, you're traveling faster than a fighter jet. That's not all. The Earth, in addition to doing that, is whipping around the sun. Every year we have to make a trip around the sun. That's a long way to go in only a year. And to do that, the Earth is moving at about just a little over 100,000 kilometers an hour. 100,000 kilometers an hour. That's faster than the space shuttle. We are moving faster than a rocket. Every second, we cover 30 kilometers. Every second. That's about the width of Toronto. Every second. You go from Mississauga to Scarborough. Every second. Boop, boop, 
We just did it. That's how fast the Earth is moving through space. Okay? We're cooking, man. We're cooking.